Vols may have the title, but they have one more game in the regular season. Kentucky coming to town on Saturday. 10 News reporter Olivia Degg talked to f people on campus about the pulse there and the excitement building for what is always a great rivalry game anyway. That's right. Uh, campus is buzzing right now and the basketball team is all anyone's talking about. Saturday is the last time many fans will be able to watch them live here in Rocky Top. UT students keep using the same word to describe the rockin' student section at Food City Center. And it's just electric. Everybody is so excited to be there. Uh, there's a new energy to it. Dalton Knight's coming in and really firing up the team and bringing that, that electricity that I think the team needed. You can see and hear the excitement. Um, even they've been giving away stuff before the games. People are lining up hours before. Um, just everyone's talking about it. They're showing up and showing out for their newly crowned SEC season champs and their favorite player. He just shows up and shows out every game and he always looks cool as a cucumber. I think he's just the best basketball player in college basketball this year. Um, he has the opportunity to be a lottery pick and it's not every day you get to just go to a basketball game for free and see a future NBA player like that. And the love for this UT star guard is also helping a small business. Oh yes, everybody's excited about Dalton. Um, that's what we have a lot of people coming in this morning for was the Dalton Connect shirt. Uh, it's definitely been our biggest seller as far as our NL, NIL athletes this season. And everywhere you go in Knoxville, someone's talking about men's hoops. The here. hype is here. Yes, yes yesterday sure. we were like, we were walking like here, like at the very end, and we were like updating on our phones and we could just like hear people like cheering. Um, like even some of my professors have been talking about the game and if we're going or not. And the job isn't finished yet, but everyone's excited about the potential of more dubs in the future. Frank said the game against Kentucky, 4 p.m. this Saturday, but if you want to snag a ticket, good luck. I just checked Ticketmaster. The nosebleeds are starting at more than 100 bucks. I'll be sitting on my couch. Yes, <laughs> 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 Thanks, Olivia.